Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name is Tom with the Masticate Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and su subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and build an anti-spam application and then for our Django project. And the reason we're building this is because I hate spammers. Uh, I think they're the scum of the earth and they've been spamming mastercode.online. So one solution to stopping them is go ahead and build an application to stop them. So this tutorial series is going to span uh, several tutorials. I don't know how many yet because I keep thinking of cool ideas to stop these losers. So it could take uh, several tutorials. Now there is one prerequisite to this tutorial series and that's going to be uh, if you want to follow exactly along with us, go over to our basic contact app tutorial and build that uh, basic app and then jump back into this tutorial. Otherwise, you can go ahead and implement this into your Django project however you feel, feel uh, you should. Um, so follow along and check this out. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create our application for our Django project. So python manage.py start app. And this application, I'm going to call it Spaminator because I think it sounds awesome. So Spaminator, like that. All right. <clears throat> so we created our app. Let's go ahead and open up our text editor. Uh, if you guys got some extra cash laying around, go ahead and get yourself PyCharm because it is awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and add our um, app to our installed app. So Spaminator like that we'll add that in and now we're going to go ahead and open up our models.py file in here we're going to go ahead and create a table that will hold our um blocked emails because uh in this first portion of our tutorial series we're going to block some emails so let's go ahead or at least set up the functionality to block emails and check if they're blocked so let's go ahead and create that um class so, or that model, I should say, or the class, I guess you could say, blocked emails, we'll call it. And then it's going to be models.model, ooh, model, like that. And we're going to go ahead and add an email field, and we'll say models.email field. And this is going to take one argument. We're going to say unique is equal to true. And the reason I put that in there is so we don't get multiple emails uh, if your app's not working properly, uh, it might just keep recording the emails as the same spammer keeps spamming you. Um, but technically, if your app's working properly, the uh, the person shouldn't be able to spam you anymore or the bot can't spam you anymore. So there we go. That is my reasoning behind the unique. Let's go ahead and also record the date and time that this was recorded. So let's go ahead and uh, create uh, a field to hold that. So models dot date time field, and we're gonna say auto now dot add is true. So it records the date when it was added. <clears throat> All right. So uh, we could also do a human readable of everything. So the fine, and we return self dot email as a string. That way we can read it. Uh, and then let's go ahead and migrate our database. So we'll do a uh, python manage.py make migrations like that. And then we'll do python manage.py migrate like that. And um, cool. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and set up our admin.py page, and we're going to go ahead and set this up. This way we can go ahead and look and test our uh, our blocked emails. So from dot, dot .models import blocked emails, and then we'll just do admin.site, site.register, and then in here put blocked emails. Cool. Now let's run our server. Python manage.py run server. And if you go and open up your admin, um, block the emails there, click on add, boom, there you go. You can add a email address. We will not add one at the moment, but you can add a spammer if you'd like to. All right, so back into our text editor. So let's go ahead and build a little functionality here to check if the email exists in the database. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and just create a new file and we're going to call this utils.py. Utils.py. Spell that right? Yeah, utils.py. PY. And the reason I'm doing this is because we're when you're checking for the spammers, you're going to want to check in multiple locations like a contact app, uh, user signing up, um, a com comment block uh, area of your site, and all types of stuff. So you're going to want to be able to call this functionality all over the place. Plus, we're going to have multiple functionality checks in this application. So we're just going to put them all in utils.py file, and you can easily call them from there. So let's go ahead and import our database. So from .models, import blocked emails. And we're just going to create a simple function here, define email underscore check. And it's going to take one argument, and that's going to be email or Draw a blank. Anyhow, return <laughs> blocked emails because this is not called, it's called a parameter, not an argument. There we go. That's what I was trying to think of. Email, uh, blocked emails, and then uh, dot objects, dot filter. So we're just simply checking if the email is in the database here with this function. And the reason I create a function is so I don't have to type this out in every area I need it. Now I can just call email check like this and then pass in an email and I don't have to write all this out right here because this is the actual functionality of the function but I'd rather write this because I'm lazy. All right cool so that's what we set up there. Now next thing was uh, since we're professional developers so let's go ahead and build a test and test the functionality of everything that we just did. Um, so from, well, let's get rid of this junk. Um, so first thing we need to do is bring in the model. So from dot models, uh, import blocked emails and then from dot utils, import email check. And then we're going to do class blocked email, email test case and then test case. There we go. All right, so we're building a subclass of test case. And in here, we're going to define the setup. So um, setup like, like that. And basically, what we're going to do is create two emails that will be thrown into the database when we run this test. And we're going to go ahead and check if they exist or not. So I'm just going to do blocked emails.objects dot create and the email oops email is equal to and we'll say test at example dot com and we'll go ahead and do block the emails we'll do one more just for um, fun here email is equal to um, let's do test at gmail dot com and then we're going to come down and write our actual test so we'll define, and the first word in this method must be test. So we'll say test underscore. If you do not put test, then uh, the method won't run and the test won't run. So blocked underscore emails. And we're going to say self. We already put it in there for me because I was not paying attention. And we'll just say email block test like that because you should come out comment your code all the time and then email underscore one is equal to blocked emails dot uh, objects dot get and we're gonna go ahead and do email is equal to test at example dot com and then we'll do email whoa sorry about that email to equal to blocked emails dot objects dot get and we'll do the other email which is test at gmail dot com and then we'll just do self dot assert <coughs> true so basically we're seeing if it returns true so we'll do email check 
and then pass in email one. All right, and then we'll do this one more time. Self dot assert true email check email two like that. So basically what we're doing here is we are getting the emails from the database because this is going to create a database up here to set up. It's going to create a temporary database or a temporary table that holds our functionality. It's going to add these emails into it <clears throat> and then we're calling the, the test block emails. Basically this is going to get the email from the database. So email one is going to re represent this one. Email two is going to represent this one. And then we're going to call the self assert true. And then we're going to use our email check to see if it exists. Now if this all works out properly, we should get okay return to us. So how do we run this? Well, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and kill our server and we're going to run python manage.py test spam and test with an S. Hit return. Oh, I got it failed. Uh, what did we fail on? No attribute exists. That's in our utils, I believe. So what do we fail on here? And this is why we run test. Oh, <laughs> that's not how it should look. That was wrong. Don't do that. There we go. That's how it should look. Now back into running our test. Let's run it again. I push up to run it. Hit return. And we got OK. Ran one test and we passed. So that's why we've run the test to catch errors like that. So we don't make fools of ourselves when we uh, release this stuff to our clients. All right. Cool. So our test works. So our functionality is working. Um, so. see where we're at here um, all right so let's go ahead and put this email functionality to work in our contact form so we're gonna go ahead and open up our contact views.py file and in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the um, functionality so first thing we want to do is from spaminator dot utils import uh, email check like that all right and then we're gonna come down to um, form is valid right here and we're gonna go ahead and change this to instance is equal to and what we're doing is getting the data from the form before we save it so commit is equal to false because we don't want to save it if it's a spammer all right i hate when this thing there we go no peppy rules now what we're going to do is use an if statement we'll say if email check um instance dot email then we're going to go ahead and return um a message so we'll say from django dot contrib import messages like that <clears throat> so down here we'll say messages dot uh, success I don't know request and then we'll just say you are considered uh, considered a spammer and we do not like you there we go. So that's the message you'll get if their email is in the spam and this shouldn't be success. This should be a uh, warning. <clears throat> there we go. And then let's go over here and do else. Whoa. And whoa. This should be a cool one. That's what I'm trying to do. And then we'll say instance.save because they're not considered a spammer. So we'll go ahead and save their contact message. And then we'll say messages dot success this is where the success should be we'll do request uh, comma and then we'll say we have received your email or your message yeah, your message sounds better and we will respond within within 24 hours boom there you go all right, so 
that's basically it. Now, open up your template from bum 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 um, right here from our contact form from our previous tutorial, and we're gonna go ahead and add the messages in here so we can actually send the message. So we're gonna go ahead and do curly brace percent sim symbol if messages like that uh, percent symbol curly brace, and then we're gonna and put the else in here so I don't forget and end if down here so I don't forget because I always forget all right in here we're just gonna go ahead and do um, curly brace percent symbol for message in messages and we'll end our n4 here so n4 and then here we'll just go ahead and do um, just put a div in here for a second and then strong and let's go ahead and do message so we'll put our message in here so there you go um, so let's go ahead and test our logic behind this app here so open up well first off run your server so python manage.py run server and open up our admin. Let's go ahead and add an email address. So Tom at mastercode.online. We're gonna go ahead and see if he's a spammer. So, whoops, I didn't wanna click off that. Let's go ahead and now go to our contact form. So we'll go to contact like that. And we're gonna go ahead and say uh, Tom Myers, Tom at mastercode.online. And we're gonna say, this is your Spam. There we go. And we have an error in our template right there. And how I noticed that is you see the curly brace down here? I had an extra curly brace in there. All right. So go ahead and send it. And, you, and we get a message that says, you're considered a spammer. We and we don't like you. All right. So that is the first portion of our spam anti-spam application called the Spaminator. In the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and block IP addresses. So uh, see you then.